Hello, my earth sign friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I am bringing you your general weekly reading for January 12th through the 19th, 2018. This is for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be doing a general spread um, involving work, home, life, what have you, followed up by a love spread with the um, Tarot of Sexual Magic. So with that, we will get started right away. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have our, for our Earth signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn um, for the week of January 12th through the 19th, 2018 for um, work, home, um, where they are in this process, and the overall view of the week. Okay. Um, these are going to just sit off to the side for a second. Okay, so in your home um, area, Earth signs, you have the Five of Swords in reverse. So um, one of you may be refusing to walk away. Um, even though you feel like neither one of you are benefiting you, um, oh no, this is in your work. This is at work. I'm sorry. I was backwards. Um, <clears throat> you have the five of swords in reverse. So you are refusing or not walking away from, um, a job just yet, a person, a partnership. Let me get a clarifying card on that. I'm getting all sorts of messages. Um, I am seeing that you're sticking it out somewhere a little while longer, even though you're not happy. Um, it may be a toxic environment to work in. Yeah, you, um, you're not making the move yet, but you do have an option coming up as far as jobs go. Um, you are going to have a, another option, but, um, that word of that job, that second job has not come in yet. But it will be coming to you and you will be able to walk away from this if that is what you choose at the time. Um, you have the moon card here in your home um, area. Um, so um, not everything is being revealed to you, earth sign. You could be dealing with another earth sign. Um, but there is secrets going on. Either you are not telling people in your home, what you are actually up to, or people in your home are hiding this from you. It has to do with, um, where you are placing your emotional, um, investments, I guess you could say, um, you're coming out of a time of depression. You are no longer worried about what it is that you lost in the past. Um, you are going to possibly take those two of cups that are behind you and you're going to venture off um, in search of who that cup belongs to. Um, the six of pentacles is also here clarifying the moon card. So it's something about um, something about money. Somebody may possibly be hiding money or are trying is trying to hide money before a divorce is what I'm getting for a group of you. Oh yeah, and they're defensive about this. You try to bring it up, you try to bring up the the um the talk of money if you guys are going through a separation and they are immediately defensive about it. In oops, in the unexpected um position in your reading, you have the nine of wands. So you're no longer even fighting for this. 
you're no longer you you really lost passion in your job and in your home life earth sign um this week um you're no longer fighting the end of something you have gone to battle time and time and time and still nothing is changing so you are okay with yeah you have a choice and you're okay with walking away yeah because this no longer fulfills you it no longer gives you the emotional fulfillment that you desire. Your position in this is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this is you, Earth sign, for sure. Unless you're dealing with another Earth sign. Um, you're feeling betrayed, backstabbed. Um, two Tens in reverse. Um, you feel betrayed by this person. In your home, you, um, the magician, this could be you, uh, this could be you, Virgo. You are an earth sign. And the nine of pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus. And the lovers, you have to make a choice. And unfortunately, um, either Virgo or Taurus, whichever one has to make the choice, I see your choice is leaving this relationship. Because you're tired of fighting over the uh, cheating, lying, sneaking out, sneaking away. Um, and you're not, someone's not telling the truth. Um, I try to, I try not to have my general readings go into love, but this is very clearly that situation. I have a... This is for a group of you who owns a company, owns a business with, and you're separating from your spouse. You're worried about them just walking away and letting you have the business. Um, you're worried that they're going to fight you for it, even though they don't want it, just so you have to give it up as well. I don't see that happening. I see them walking away because they're going to get a job offer somewhere else and they're just going to walk away and um, leave their swords where they lay. Um, in your home, environment there are secrets there is deceit someone's trying to hide money before uh this divorce gets brought up in the unexpected um somebody's given up the fight they are they have the two of swords here and they're choosing to walk away because they're no longer emotionally um fulfilled at home your position in this earth sign is the ten of pentacles in reverse so you're no longer happy at home you're no longer happy at work um, you're just unhappy everywhere. And I see you are sign walking away from somebody. Um, and it's because there's been lying and sneaking around in the past. And, um, and it's just causing too much fight, too much drama. No, no truth is coming out about this. And, uh, the two extra cards that flew out when I was shuffling was the Queen of Cups and the Fool in Reverse. So, um, with the Fool in Reverse, you're not going to give that person who cheated another chance or sign. No, nope, you're not giving them an, a new start, a fresh chance. Even though you've known this person for a long time, um, you are going to hold on tight to your emotions, to your pinnacles, and you're refusing to give this person another chance because this has really drained you emotionally. You put in a lot of hard work over the years with the seven of pinnacles and yeah, and they are, they are, um, there are kids involved, but this is a karmic partner and it, it's time for the cycle to end. So you guys can both move on to um, be with who you are meant to be with. Um, that was for a specific group, I take it. <laughs> but Earth sign, if you are dealing with um, a spouse that you own a business with, that where the marriage is ending, um, they are not going to try to take your business away from you. So um, I know that is something that is worrying you and but I don't see that happening um I see them walking away period actually just walking away they don't want the fight they just want it to be over 
So, on to love. So I guess that was kind of not really about all about love. It was about your home and your work, but um, you know that was for a specific group of you because not all of you own a company with your spouse. So we will move on to Earth sign single, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our single Earth signs for the week of January 12th through the 19th, 2018? What do you want them to know? What do they need to know? What do they get to know about their single love life? Okay. Okay. So, single earth signs. You have the crowning energy of the queen of wands in reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice again. So, um, I am hearing um, for a group of you, this is somebody that you have dated in the past, Earth Signs. Um, you found this person very irresistible. Um, you were sexually attracted to them um, beyond belief. You were just mesmerized by their um comfort their comfortability their yeah in their own skin um but it is in the reverse so for some reason that is you are either in separation from this fire sign or um you are broken up um the queen of wands that's usually uh, represented by sagittarius but it can be aries or leo as well <coughs> in the recent past you had the lovers and it is in reverse. So you had two people. Um, that is possibly why this fire sign is no longer um, there. And in the uh, future, you have the Hierophant in reverse. So they're both going to be gone. Earth sign. Um, the three of chalices. Yeah, definite. I mean, three cards right here. Third party. Um, the two of chalices in reverse. So you were, you were married earth sign and you brought someone else into the marriage and this affair caused the end of a relationship. Um, Yeah, you have the Four of Pentacles in reverse here as well. So, um, and the Two of Cups in reverse. So, Earth sign I'm getting for you singles that you were either in a committed relationship or a marriage, and you brought in somebody from an outside outside of the marriage. Um, and the third party left. You and eventually your partner left you as well because you could not make a decision between the lovers. Um, yeah, and the, the wheel turned and now you are by yourself. <laughs> um, judgment is here. And the three of pentacles with the ace of chalice in reverse. I do not see you getting back together with um, the spouse or a committed partner i do see that third party possibly lingering around earth sign but um it's gonna take some some pretty good talking to get back in their good graces um earth sign so for this week i see you remaining single um spirit says maybe to stay in that hangman position a little bit longer and um work on yourself and before you try to get involved in another relationship. Um, but I do see, uh, that your partner is leaving you this week or has left you in the past week. Um, the energies go a week, a week out, a week before around there. So earth signs, um, couples married and dating. 
what messages do you have for our Earth sign couples for the month or for the week of January 12th through the 19th, 2018? What do they need to know? What do they get to know? Okay. Earth sign couples, we have the Ace of Pentacles as your crowning energy, the Knave of Chalices in reverse. And the Hermit in reverse. So, um, you are hoping for a, a fresh start with a loved one. Um, this is your energy, Earth sign. You are coming out of a time of being frustrated. Um, you could have been involved in a third party um, in past relationships. But with the Nave of Chalices, they are no longer letting that energy bother them. Um, but... As you see here with the Hermit, there is still the third party going on, and all three parties know about it. Um, no, the one person knows about it. And they're not okay with it, but there's not much they can do if they still want to be partnered with this person. Um, the Queen of Swords here, you can see the black candle and the... Um, the pins in the heart. She is, um, she's pissed. <laughs> she has been deceived by her, um, king and yeah, and she is still bitter about it. Um, with the stars in reverse, um, in the past, this, this affair, um, caused her, her dream. And in the in the future, two become one. We have the Knight of Chalice, and he is coming in to offer his love to just one of them. And with judgment here, this is actually divinely guided. Um, the Ten of Swords is in the past, so um, there's that third party again in the window, and she is pissed inside. Um, emperor another fire sign i'm actually getting for this group of you yeah with the lovers um as crazy as this is i am getting that earth sign the the um the person who had the affair who had the two women the one that he actually stepped out of the marriage on or the committed relationship is their divine partner. It is sent from the universe. Not that I condone cheating whatsoever, but um, the person that you cheated on your partner with was sent here. It is your divine partner. The judgment card is here with a wheel as well as the lovers. And it's with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, or um, Sagittarius. You have the Ace of Swords here as well. So this partner like gets you sexually. Um, like you fulfill each other's fantasies. And here's the Fool card. You guys are going to have a new beginning, a fresh start with a Four of Wands. Oh my goodness. Yeah, um, Earth sign. Like I said, I do not condone cheating whatsoever. But the person you are cheating on your spouse or your coupled partner with is your twin flame. You have the four of wands, the ace of swords, and the fool. All clarifying the judgment, the lovers, and the wheel. This is crazy. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> partner or couples, you have a big choice to make. You need to either um, end things with your current partner or... Um, cut off things with your twin flame, but, um, now, you know, I am hearing that distinct message from spirit and actually the first love reading was connected to that as well. So, um, yeah, that message is for a special group of you. So, um, good luck earth signs. Um, I, I just don't even know what to say. That's crazy. I've, that's crazy. So, okay. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. I'm going to let you go on that. And, um, uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. 
I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing week. Um, I'm sending you love and light. And as always, God bless. And I hope to see you next time.